Hey guys, so today I want to warn you if Alpha Investment does buy a grading company, um, just understand that you guys are going to get hosed. And I don't speak that because I don't like him. I think it's an interesting idea. Uh, 69, ha ha ha, very funny, total investment. Um, I think it comes down to how many grading companies exist, and I'm just giving you this warning. Now, if you want to grade with him to support him, go ahead. But grading cards with a company not named PSA or BGS does not necessarily increase the price of your cards, especially when you compare to PSA and BGS. One example I'll use is CGC. A lot of influencers, especially Pokemon influencers, they were paid to promote CGC. They were, pay, again, paid or got very low rates if they themselves grade CGC. There are other videos where more you know, influencers who weren't paid now have looked at the value. And the value of a CGC 10, which is their best version, compared to a BGS 10 or PSA 10 is night and day. We're talking about factors of 10 to 100. So if you had a really great and very valuable card, you'd actually be doing a massive disservice grading with CGC. And CGC is reputable. They've been in business for a long time. Uh, they have you know, an SGC, an HGC. There's so many grading companies that came out uh, because of the pandemic and very few of them are are doing well uh, some of them are completely out of business the puff daddy ones completely out of business the automated grading machine that they would bring to the collector cons right and then they would also do this idea of meta zoo at the time was very popular so they would also grade a lot of pokemon in meta zoo if you want to get a card graded and your reasoning is you want to uh, make money from it then there's no comparison, P PSA, BGS, they're the only two that are comparable because of their history, their long-term, I mean, BGS is in Dallas, I believe. Um, a lot of the relationship, even, I think CGC might be owned by Fanatics or PWCC, there's a lot of these CCs, P <laughs> it's a very confusing, but uh, for the most part, it is widely understood by the Pokemon community that if your cards are not PSA or BGS, and the sports card community too, Magic is more or less, people don't really grade uh, that much Magic uh, compared to Pokemon. Po people grade a lot of Pokemon. People grade a lot of um, sports cards, obviously. And you should ask them, would they ever grade with this company Rudy just bought? And the answer is no, flat out no. Because what you're doing is you're actually reducing the liquidity of the sales. No one looks at a slab that is, let's say you had a one-on-one -on -one Tom Brady. They would think that you're crazy for grading it with, what is this company even called? PCG. PCG, right? Um, no, 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 no. Um, a lot of the grading is very subjective, very human organized. So... If Rudy owns the company, he could easily say, hey, I want all my cards to come back 10s. And who's to say that's, that's not what's going to happen? Um, yeah, grading is very subjective. Um, even, you know, that's why there's cross grading. So a PSA 6 has become a BGS 9.5. A BGS 10 can be, or a BGS 5 can also become a PSA 9. It's crazy when you cross over grades, some of these reports are just insane that one person would say, oh, this is kind of a, okay, this is a seven or a six. And then another person would say, oh, it's a nine or 10. Um, and, and many, many interesting examples. And that's why people crack PSA slabs, right? They crack these slabs because they think that, oh, if I just send it to another business and, you know, and I, I know the other grading company, I will keep my fingers crossed. Oh, and now it's uh, a much better grade. Right? Otherwise, they wouldn't risk damaging the card by cracking the slab. I think grading is really overrated. Um, I think if you do grade, it's got to be PSA. That's my personal opinion. Again, I would never grade with this company. Um, there is not, no chance in hell I would ever buy a card with a grade from this company. 
outside of actually being cheaper because now I have to crack the slab and there's a little bit more work for me. CGC, I mean, I have CGC cards because I buy Pokemon collections. I don't give them any, you know, I don't give them any premium, even if it's a 10 or 9.5. I just um, comp them as raw. And then if I just put them in the slabs. But this type of company, I would actually think um, would be less, you know, I would actually pay less than raw, as crazy as that sounds, because I don't think I can sell it. And you can look at sales. You can go on eBay right now. I mean, everything I'm telling you, you can verify. Um, if this is a joke, it's a really funny joke. But if um, Alpha Investment is serious about owning a grading company, I think he'd just start one from scratch. I don't understand what um, benefits this company has other than being cheap and a good deal and basically on the verge of bankruptcy, right? I'm, I mean, the idea was card... What is Card Shop Live didn't want, want it? So then Alpha Investments wants it now? I mean, I don't get it. If it didn't work for Card Shop Live, and they have a huge whatnot. They have a huge breaking platform. I don't know if many of you guys know that. They break tons of boxes. Uh, maybe this is a way for Rudy to move his boxes by offering grading. Like, I, I don't know. Um, I think Rudy should really just explore whatnot, get himself on whatnot or a somebody and then just break the boxes he has i think it'd be a lot more profitable than great and then grading as a secondary it also tells you like how he feels about the market um about the card market and uh yeah i will block you if you are really simp because uh yeah it's funny when you keep commenting and no one can see the comment you need even i cannot see it it just kind of appears as the comments um anyway uh, that's my personal opinion on grading is I don't love it. Um, but if I did have to do grading, it would be PSA by far. And then second, if, you know, PSA was swamped and it would be BGS. And third, there is no third. I, I see GC. I wouldn't even grade. I think a lot of influencers promoted that and did a much and a, did a very big disservice to their subscribers because you know, subscribers now all got all their cards graded with cgc and they're basically worthless or they could be worth a lot more had they graded the same card with psa or bgs even i don't know i guess uh, this is another way to make money from the patreons right 